Most of the phone calls I receive from people watching these videos go something like this. The PR is not communicating with me. The PR is stealing stuff from the estate. The PR stole money from the estate. The PR is trying to cheat me out of my inheritance. What can I do? Hello again, this is Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist, Daryl Williams with Win Win Realtors here in Southern California. On this program, we assist personal representatives and probate attorneys with estate real property. So if you are new here and you're interested in this type of content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. If you are an heir or a beneficiary of an estate, it's important for you to understand that an administrator or an executor has a fiduciary duty, that's a duty of trust and loyalty, to all interested parties of that estate. And to break a fiduciary duty, there are serious legal consequences. So, who may object to a personal representative's actions or decisions? California State Probate Code 10587 states, any person who is entitled to receive a notice of proposed action may object to that action. And as a heir or beneficiary, that would be you. Of course, the best time to have objected to a personal representative would have been when the petition was filed and the hearing was held. If you had knowledge that the personal representative or the petitioner was not a good fit for the estate, that is the best time to object. As an heir or beneficiary of an estate, you are entitled to receive a notice of proposed action. On this judicial form, you are given the opportunity to object. And if you have some reservation about some decision the personal representative is making, this is where you object. You can object to an action by delivering or mailing a written objection to the personal representative at the address that's stated on the notice of proposed action. Question of the day. Have you ever had a dispute with a personal representative about selling the estate real property? What happened? How did you guys resolve that issue? Let us know in the comments below. The objecting party can request from the probate court to order the personal representative not make any more proposed actions without further supervision from the court. If the restraining order is issued, the personal representative may not be able to make any more proposed actions without the court's supervision. If you've gotten value from this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Daryl Williams. This is Win Win Rule Tours TV. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This video has been for information purposes only. It is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. If you need an attorney, please contact one. If you need an estate planning attorney or a probate attorney, feel free to contact me for a referral.